What is going on guys, one more team bringing guys a brand new episode of Washington Station, the best stage for Washington Football Nation. Now today, we're going to talk about another quarterback that has a chance to come to Washington. Monday we covered Derek Carr coming to Washington. So now let's cover another quarterback that name starts with a D, Mr. Dak Prescott. Now, I know what you're thinking. Will. This is the first time you're filming a Washington Station video that the thumbnail has a cowboy on it. And it's not one of the times we beat him this season when we swept them. So fun fact, we haven't lost to the Cowboys since I started this channel. So, when I started the channel, started the show. So, you know, I think I'm a good luck charm. I mean, take it for what you want. I'm the good luck charm. Soak it in. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Dak Prescott... Look, we can hate on Dallas all day, because trust me, I do. I hate on all of them. I hate on Dak, you know, when he's out there in the f field. But that man is talented. There is some extraordinary talent that he has. This season, before he had that terrible injury, he was balling. He was in the top five in the league in passing yards weeks after he got injured. He played his tail off. He worked his butt off. He was the team that was in shambles, even though nobody really knew it yet, because they always say Dallas always has a chance, and even this season, they always had a chance. He was balling out, like, after, what, like 400 to 500 yards a game, more touchdowns. He received a touchdown. He rushed touchdowns. He threw touchdowns. I mean, he did everything. He was the Dallas Cowboys team for the first like four or five weeks of the season. It was amazing. He has a highlight reel from his few games of season that even star players have with the all games combined. He has enough highlight plays that star players had all season combined. Trust me. You got the video. Or whatever side of me is on. I would love for Dallas. For Dak to come to uh, Washington. Now what is Dallas expected to do with him? Well they're nowhere close to a long term deal. They are expected to franchise tag him. And you know. I just remember. The last time a team franchised a quarterback. Twice. He didn't stay. I know. Because I have a poster of that man on the wall right there. Kirk Cousins. One of my, my, one of my favorite quarterbacks in the league. And we did that. We franchise tagged him twice and couldn't come to terms on a long-term deal. You know, getting Alex Smith, which then spiraled into that whole QB carousel we've had over the past couple seasons with him, Josh Johnson, Mark Sanchez, Colt McCord, Dwayne Haskins, Case Keenum, Taylor Heineke, Kyle Allen. The, the list goes on. But I think there's a dark horse nobody's talking about. Stephen A. Smith said the other day, um, which is surprising. This is actually surprising. He said, Jerry Jones says the right things, but doesn't do the right things. He said, Dan Snyder. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is a Dan Snyder compliment. If you're mind blown, trust me, I was too. Dan Snyder is the best fit for Dak Prescott. Dak knows he is a franchise caliber QB. The NFL knows it. There's only one person that might not know it. And that's their owner, Jerry Jones, who also happens to be the general manager. So, he says, Dak, not Dak, Dan wants to treat a franchise quarterback like he's the king. We've seen it. I mean, with RG3, we saw it. With Dwayne Haskins, we saw it. Even with Alex Smith, we saw it to an extent. I mean, he's but he best buzzed Alex Smith. Never mind, it's not to an extent. It's full throttle the way he's treated Alex Smith. Like I said, I think I said it before in a video. I don't think Dan was a problem. I think he was, he could have been a piece of the problem. He was enabling the problem. I don't think he was the problem. I think the problem was people that were fired um, early last year, late 2019. Those people were the problem. I think Dan just had a bad case of enabling, which is just as bad. Because there's some stuff in Hollywood where it's, it's the only thing worse than the actual people doing it is people that's enabling it. Um, that's a topic for another show. I'm just plugging the film room. 
you know, yeah, I got many shows on this channel, so I just want to, you know, hype them all up, but, you know, it's really like he would be home, he's, his brothers have even said, yeah, we'll tell him he should come to Washington, he followed Washington, he got caught doing it and unfollowed him, but the fact is, he still followed him, but, you know, I think we're driving away from what's the main reason we want him, and it's his talent, the guy has an arm. The guy can move around a pocket. That guy can escape any bad situation. And it's amazing how he can do it. I watch him and I'm like, oh my goodness. That, I mean, I want to hate on the Cowboys as much as I can. Trust me. Them Giants and the Eagles, I take every opportunity to absolutely, you know, talk crap about them. But Dak, it's like sometimes I'm watching him. I'm like, I want to talk bad about this guy, but I can't because of the way he's playing. I tell you, this guy can ball like no other this guy can play football better than many quarterbacks in the NFL I've neglected saying it many years because of where he's been but there's a point where I can't deny that fact he's a great quarterback and Washington needs a stable great quarterback look Taylor Heineke I love the guy to death but he's a backup He's a great backup. Kyle Allen. Some fans say they've seen enough. I haven't seen enough of Kyle Allen. That's just me. Alex Smith. We don't know. We just don't know. We don't know if he's coming back. We don't know how he's going to be able to go. We need a stable quarterback. And that's why I'm saying, making these videos like about Derek Carr. This one about Dak Prescott. Another one will be about Deshaun Watson. I'm even going to be able to make one about Russell Wilson. Because of what's going on there. It's insane what is happening. But. But. As much as we want these big name players here. As much as we say we know what's best for the team. We had to sit back. And let Ron. And Martin, let them do their thing. I hate saying it. I hate saying they have to do their thing. I wish we could be like, hey, we want this guy. But I would, I would be very surprised if we're not making an effort towards Dak. Because that is a stellar caliber quarterback. Now, oh, trust me, he will not be traded. Oh, I fully believe he will not get traded to us. Because in division trade is something you hardly ever see. I mean, even interconference trades is something you hardly see. But I think if he becomes a free agent, I think it's almost a guarantee he's a Washington football player next year, next season. And if he, that doesn't get you hyped, I don't know what will. Because that's a quarterback that can win us games. We're only a few pieces away from being a Super Bowl contender. Well, I mean, shoot, the way we played against Tampa Bay, we were one this year. Nobody knew it. We were one. So let's become the contenders this year. Let's be what we know we can be. And I believe Dak can get us there because his insane amount of talent, his knowledge, his way to read a defense, way to play under pressure, way to get out the pocket, way to extend plays, way to fool the defense. It's absolutely mind-blowingly good at times. And I want that in D.C., there's a bunch of quarterbacks I'd be happy with in D.C., but Dak is at one at the top of that list. I mean, he is right up there. And if you don't want it, I'd consider what you think Washington needs because we need Dak. We need Derek. We need Russell. We need somebody. Maybe that person's in the draft. Maybe that there's a dark horse somewhere that's that we just don't know about. Maybe it's Taylor Heineke. Maybe it's Alex Smith. I don't know. We don't know. It is uncertain. And in these uncertain times, we have to just think about every possible outcome. So, are you for Dak to DC? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed. Make sure to hit that bell button so you're notified every single time I load a brand new episode of Washington Station to the channel. And uh, check out all the links below. Check out my other shows, The Film Room, and the new show, NFL Station. And I'm Morris, and I'm out. Peace.